What's up YouTube? This is your man Big B Productions 100. Now, I have a cool video for you guys tonight. Now, I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube with people explaining on the best way you can go inside iTunes and find your duplicate songs. Now, I'm going to open up my iTunes here. Now, like I said, I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube with people saying, number one, you can just sort through each song manually and just delete the songs that to duplicate. True enough, you can do that. But if you're a person like me and you have, let's just say, over 10,000, 11, 12,000 songs like I do, you might have a lot of duplicates. Now, last week, I went through my iTunes library and I found over three, I think it was like three or 4,000 duplicates. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. So I was like, hmm, I can download an application that'll do it for me. But with a lot of applications that's out here that says it will find your songs in iTunes, that's a duplicate and it will get rid of it tend to do a lot more than what it's supposed to do. So I don't like using applications for that purpose. So like I said, I was just thinking on like, wow, what's the best thing to do? I don't want to sort through each song because it's too many. But then I thought to myself, wow, I have this application on my Mac called Gemini. Now let me just open it up here. Now we're going to close iTunes for a second. Now Gemini is, well, it's basically a duplicate finder. But it's not for iTunes. It's just for finding, you know, duplicate songs on your computer by searching through other folders. It's not necessarily, well, it wasn't necessarily made for iTunes, is basically what I'm saying. But I was thinking, hmm, what if I was to just open up my iTunes and create a folder on my desktop? And just for this purpose, I'll name it I, the letter I for iTunes. And I was thinking, what if I was to just take all of these songs? highlight them and just drag them to my desktop to that folder you know like so now these songs in here these are not duplicates well iTunes is saying it's a duplicate but it's not so you got to be careful sometimes because iTunes if it's fine for instance I have some remixes in here I have a okay Paul Wall I have a, a album by Paul Wall with state to state that song future and freeway but then I have another album that's by Paul Wall as well. But you'll see that song is a couple of minutes longer. So I have like three or four different remixes of the same song by Paul Wall. And iTunes will just say, okay, it's a duplicate. Not necessarily a duplicate because it can be something different in that song. Maybe on a verse in that song, another rapper could have went like maybe 15, 20 seconds longer. Or anything like that. So you just want to be careful when you're deleting your duplicates out of iTunes. Again, with R. Kelly, we have Step in the Name of Love. It's a remix, and then I have another remix that's on a different album. So you can delete that because it's pretty much the same song, but I don't know. You might want to keep it. So with that being said, we just want to be careful with that. But like I was saying, I was like, wow, I got this application named Gemini. And what if I was to just highlight all the songs in iTunes, drag them to a folder? Once that's done, I can then delete everything that's in iTunes that's a duplicate move to trash like so now when that's done I can just take this fold on my desktop drag it inside Gemini like so and then I can scan it now Gemini is a very smart application I'm gonna show you here what I mean in a second now we're gonna scan now remember those songs we just dragged to that folder iTunes had to recognize all those songs as duplicates but let me show you what Gemini is gonna do Gemini is going to scan it and it's going to tell you those are not duplicates. So, I mean, you still want to delete it or you want to put it back in iTunes. So it's telling you that those songs that you have are not duplicates at all. But iTunes is telling you it is. Now, if just so happened, Gemini did find some duplicates. It would have searched through it. It would have did a quick search and it would have put everything in order. So on the left hand side, it would have had like R. Kelly remix. This song is seven minutes long. And then right up under that, it would have had R. Kelly remix. This song is seven minutes long. So it would have had both items in there. And it will then sort through each song for you and show you what's a duplicate and what's not a duplicate. So it will only select one song, not both songs, only one. Then you can trash them. Once you trash those songs, you can then take that folder that's now just the songs that you want. Open up iTunes like so and just drag them back in and sync them that's it and as you see here those songs that i have on my desktop is going right back inside itunes 
But now let's just say if that was a folder that was full of duplicates, but now we just use Gemini to clean it out. We can just put the songs back in iTunes that we want to keep. And everything else that's duplicates would be right here in our trash can. Like so. So trust me when I say this. The quickest way to go through your iTunes library and search for duplicates is by what I'm showing you right now. Is by going up to your iTunes menu bar here, clicking on the word view, and then show duplicate items. Once you have done that, drag everything to your desktop in a folder. Trash everything inside iTunes that says it's a duplicate. Open up Gemini, drag that folder inside Gemini, and scan it and do it like that. Trust me, it's fast, easy, and quick, and you will not, I repeat, you will not delete any other items other than the items that duplicates. Now, this application here that I have called Gemini, you can get it from the Mac App Store for $5. Well, at least back in the day when I bought it, it was $5, but now I'm looking here on the right-hand side, and this application is $10. Now, I don't support pirating or anything like that and I know a lot of you people out there probably going to just try and pirate this application but if you do that's on you but hey just thought I'd help because uh like I said I don't have time to be going through like four or five thousand songs you know looking for duplicates and all of that crap so uh, I hope this video helped a lot of you guys out there that was trying to get rid of those duplicates inside iTunes if so please rate comment and subscribe to your man's channel it will really i mean really 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 help me out i would appreciate it i'll let you